Okay. If you're watching this, that means that you're interested in the Yalo Research and Pre-Medical Honors Program at Hunter College, and we just want to give you an inside look into what that means through the lens of some current Yalos. We hope you'll like what you'll see. A little bit about me. My name is Pavon Kosla, and I'm currently completing my senior year as a bioinformatics major, which is biology and computer science, and I'm also the current cohort mentor to the YALO Honors Program. If you ask me, there's two main reasons why I chose Hunter College. Number one is the location. Hunter College is in the heart of New York City, completely surrounded by any type of opportunity that you are looking for, and they're either a short walk or a short train ride away. Number two is that it's a quality education at an affordable price. Growing up, I knew that I didn't have a lot and I would have to take out large amounts of loans if I wanted to go to a private college. And I decided that I would rather save that money and take out those loans for medical school instead. And when I chose Hunter College, I knew that Hunter had a very strong science reputation. But after getting to Hunter College, I learned that in a deeper way, knowing after realizing, after finding out that the pre-health program at Hunter College has a much higher acceptance rate to medical school than the national average of about 48%. And they're very competitive, compared, um, similar to some of the top institutions uh, in the United States. If you ask me what are some of the main benefits of the YALO program, I would say that there's four main pillars to the support that the program gives you. Number one is the scholarship. The money that they give, obviously a great help. Um, being financially stable is probably the key to survival in this world. And uh, if you can't, um, if you're always worried about that, then you can't really focus on anything else. Number two is priority registration. Uh, scholars at Hunter College get to sign up for their classes weeks before all the other students. And you might not think that's a big deal right now, but after, co after taking college classes, you'll realize that, or signing up for college classes, you'll realize that you'll never have to stress about what if you'll get into a certain class, if you'll have to change your schedule last minute, if, um, or anything like that. And above this, you can go to the next step like I do, and set up your classes in a way that you can free up a certain day or a certain chunk of, chunk of time for research or um, work or anything like that. And you can tell your friends, hey, this is my schedule. Maybe you want to have the same schedule. And you both have that opportunity to sign up for those classes and know you'll get those seats because you're doing it in advance. The next and third thing is um, the dedicated advising. Uh, scholars at Hunter College get dedicated advisors. Yalos on top of that get two Yalo advisors. And these are faculty members that really know you, really care about you, and can write you great recommendation letters, but also help you out with the things that you need. Because they know you. Uh, and they can spend as much time as they need to with you. The last part is the community. Obviously, you'll be surrounded by other intellectual, motivated young people who really make up, for the most part, your friend group. And this, all of these four things come together in a really strong support structure for when college gets tough. All right. Uh, if you ask me what's my favorite class, that I've taken at Hunter College, I would say it's immunology, and I actually took it with uh, Dr. Eckhart, who is one of the uh, faculty advisors for the Yellow Honors Program. Uh, what I liked best about this class is that what she would do is she would show us the results from a major paper from, from years ago when they were figuring out all this stuff about immunology, and she would ask us, hey, uh, what, if you were the scientist, and you got these results, what, what, would you, what would you say? What would you think, right? And uh, then when we'd get the test, uh, then we would go over and, you know, obviously find out what uh, it actually means. But then our tests would 
be the same type of results, but the results would be changed, right? Having a different interpretation. And you would have to interpret that and say, hey, you know, if this were, if these were the results that um, the scientists got, what would have this, what would have, um, what would be the conclusions that would have been drawn from this? And this type of pedagogy is something that I feel that Hunter College really stresses and is important for people that want to pursue higher education, want to be leaders in their craft, and want to um, take their understanding to the next level. So I told you about my favorite science class. Let me tell you about my favorite non-science class. And I would say that's English, and a lot of you might say, English, you know, I've grown up speaking English. I've taken English in high school, elementary school, middle school, everything, right? Um, why do I have to take English again? And I would say that uh, if you look up any job description, right, the response, the requirements almost always will say strong verbal and written skills. And having strong verbal and written skills is probably really important because if you're not able to communicate what you're thinking, then the other person will not be able to understand it, right? The other person will not know that you're thinking these amazing things. And I think um, this speaks to the importance of a liberal arts degree and why Hunter College, again, uh, is doing things right and um, keeping you keeping your you away from blinders, keeping you thinking about different topics and um, ideas. And I was actually uh, talking about this with Dean Polsky uh, about how Nobel Prize winners typically are looking towards are, are people whose research um, look to other subjects. They weren't just like, hey, I'm a geneticist, I'm going to look at this one um, subject. They, they say, hey, you know, like, let me look at these other subjects and see how, what are people doing there, and then gain inspiration from that, and then find something amazing that uh, nobody else is looking for, and then they win the Nobel Prize, right? Um, and, and another point was, that I want to say was uh, in freshman year, right, as, as we all do, or you guys might, um, I, I called up Harvard Medical School and I said, uh, hey, you know, uh, can I get some advice about um, these next few years? And um, got some great advice, but in addition to that, I was, uh, I asked them, hey, you know, uh, I'm kind of upset that uh, my institution uh, is giving me a bachelor's in arts. They said, "Ah, no, 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 that's exactly what you should should be going for. Why, why are you upset about that? Don't don't be upset about that. We want to see people with bachelors in arts, uh, with liberal arts degrees, rather than um, just a bachelor's in science, um, because we know that you can't just." become, you're, you're not going to be a, a major contributor to any field if you're not able to have a broad scope of things and a broad understanding of things and the world around you. And with that, I'd like to say uh, thank you for watching, and we hope to have you as a part of our Yamily, our Yalo family, and yeah.